preferences window is open, we have a device generic MIDI and our in and out port are set to K2. The out port doesn't do anything in this instance as the encoders are not motorized, but it's good practice to set it up this way. So we will use the encoders to map some browser functions in Tractor. So go down to browser, look at tree, select tree and down. Hit the learn button and use the left hand encoder at the bottom of the K2. So straight away you can see we have mapped channel 16, controller number 20. The type of controller is set to fader knob and interaction mode is direct. This is not a fader but an encoder, so click on the down arrow and select encoder. And you have two options for the interaction mode, direct or relative, and we want to use relative. Close the preferences panel. You can see as we rotate the encoder on the K2, we are scrolling on the left side window between Explorer and Playlists. And you can see the main browser window changes as we scroll between. Now we would like to use the switch part of the encoder to do the tree select. Expand, collapse. What this does is to allow you to open and close subdirectories. Hit learn, press the button. You'll notice the type of controller is fader knob, so choose button. Interaction mode is direct. The button options can then be set to collapse, expand, or collapse and expand. We will select Collapse and Expand. Now when we press the encoder, we are opening trees and the subdirectories and closing them. The left hand encoder is controlling everything in the tree section of the browser. So now we will add List, Select, Up, Down. Hit the learn button and we will use the right hand encoder for this. You'll see it's mapped to controller 21 as a fader knob. We need to set that to encoder and make sure the interaction mode is relative. Now you can see as we rotate the encoder, we scroll up and down the tracks in our browser lists. You can adjust the sensitivity and acceleration of the encoder, but it depends how you want to work. Finally, the last thing we will add is only browser toggle, using the push action of the right hand encoder. Hit the learn button and we will use the right hand encoder for this. Type of controller is button, interaction mode hold, so change it to toggle. Now you can see it reduces the depth size to minimum, giving you more space on screen to view your browser panels. So now we can use these two encoders to explore our way through any folders, and we can have a good level of functionality from the encoders.